we had an in-chambers discussion about events of this weekend, uh, specifically refer referencing that a, an elected official, uh, United States Congressperson, was making um, what I interpreted to be, and what I think are reasonably interpreted to be, threats against the sanctity of the jury process, um, threatening and intimidating um, a jury, demanding that if there's not a guilty verdict that there would be further um, further uh, Further problems, Your Honor, and this this is this is the problem, right? And why I have felt that this jury should have been sequestered uh, from the very beginning. Um, Understood. To make that clear. And so I had moved um, based on that this again for a mistrial. This the, the idea is is that it is a public trial. I think the court has accomplished that, but the media attention is so profound you can't avoid it, and it is so per pervasive that it is I just don't know how this jury it can really be said to be that they are free from the taint of this um, and now that we have US representatives uh, threatening acts of, of, uh, of violence in relation to the specific case uh, it's it's mind-boggling to me judge well I'll give you that Congresswoman Waters may have given you something on appeal I'm aware that Congresswoman Waters was talking specifically about this trial and about the unacceptability of uh, anything less than a murder conviction and talk about being confrontational, but you can submit the press articles about that. This goes back to what I've been saying from the beginning. I wish elected officials would stop talking about this case, especially in a manner that is disrespectful to the rule of law and to the judicial branch in our function. I think if they want to give their opinions, they should do so in a respectful and in a manner that is consistent with their oath to the Constitution, to respect a co-equal branch of government. Their failure to do so, I think, is abhorrent, but I don't think it has prejudiced us with additional uh, material that would prejudice this jury. They have been told not to watch the news. I trust they are following those instructions and that there is not in any way uh, a prejudice to the defendant beyond the articles that we're talking specifically about the facts of this case. A congresswoman's opinion really doesn't matter a whole lot. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.